On the 5th of December 1999, the Parliament of the Republic of Lithuania issued a decree on the ratification of the National Energy Strategy, which undertook to shut down the first unit of Ignalina NPP by the end of 2005 and the second by the end of 2010. In February 2005, the decommissioning program for INPP Units 1 and 2 received approval. Immediate dismantling was selected as the decommissioning strategy. This approach assumes that dismantling of plant components starts as soon as possible after the reactor shutdown. Dismantling work began with disassembling equipment located inside the INPP buildings. The strategy was to start with equipment which, based on the radiological measurement data, had either low or no contamination. Such equipment and materials could be forwarded to a conventional waste disposal site as industrial waste or used as recycled material. Such an approach to waste handling is both economically and environmentally efficient. One of the first decommissioning projects scheduled for implementation in this area was the construction of the Free Release Measurement Facility. This facility is designed for the radiological assessment of large quantities of waste generated as a result of dismantling activities with regard to equipment and buildings. The tender for the construction of this facility was awarded in 2006 to a Czech consortium led by VF. Development of the basic design for the facility building and measurement systems started as soon as the contract had been signed between INPP as the employer and VF as the contractor. Construction of the FRMF building started in autumn 2008. The construction started at the site where Unit 3 of Ignalina NPP once stood, unfinished and later dismantled. The FRMF building is a one-storey building with reinforced concrete columns and a metal framework. The walls and roof are prefabricated, profiled metal sheets covered with an insulating layer. There are two driveways with large access gates. By the end of 2008, construction of the building was completed and the measurement systems and other technological equipment were moved inside. By autumn 2009, all equipment had been installed in the FRMF building. The FRMF building is divided into the controlled area and the supervised area. The controlled area includes the area where waste is temporarily stored before measurement, the area for temporary storage of waste which is to be returned to the waste originator for resorting, the area where materials are measured using stationary and portable monitoring systems. The supervised area includes the exit area for storage of materials permitted for free release, all remaining rooms and compartments, control room, changing room, shower room, lavatories, restroom, heating substation, service compartments and corridors in the annex building. Inside the facility, two-ton electric forklifts are used to handle crates and drums with waste during transport operations. An electric 10-ton bridge crane is used to handle large size items. The crane is controlled by means of a remote control panel. The controlled area contains two stationary measurement systems, total gamma system and spectrometry system, two portable spectrometric measurement systems and various handheld instruments. All of this equipment allows for more than 25 tonnes of dismantled equipment and materials to be measured per working shift. The nominal weight of waste packed into 200 litre drums should not exceed 400 kilograms and 1,000 kilograms in the case of crates. The maximum weight of large sized equipment is 10 tonnes. The automated radiation monitoring system installed in the building is used to monitor the radiation situation in the controlled area. 
The system includes three gamma dose rate meters, MDG02, control and display unit LZJ22, and a versatile visual and audible alarm unit ASU50. The RMS system is connected via the local area network to the operator's computer with application software installed. HF300 hand and foot monitor is used to monitor the surface contamination of the hands, feet and clothing of personnel leaving the controlled area. The HF300 includes six scintillation detectors able to measure surface beta contamination. The controlled area also has additional equipment installed, electronic scales, battery charging station for forklift trucks, power supply cabinets, fire protection, and the heating system powered from an independent heat substation. The control room contains several PC workstations for operators, a communication cabinet housing server and network equipment, telephone, and security systems. All measurement systems and technological equipment are connected to the building's computer network. The FRMF server is connected via an optical cable to the centralized decommissioning management system database. All computer and technological equipment is powered by a fail-safe power supply source, which is remotely controlled by the FRMF system administrator. The automated stationary measurement system FRM02 is used to measure total gamma activity of waste packaged in drums or crates and to evaluate the activity distribution in the container. The system consists of measurement chamber with 32 plastic scintillation detectors, conveyor with scales and two trolleys, control unit, technological computer which controls the process of measurement, data collection and the presentation of measurement results, information display, barcode reader connected to the control panel via a cable, printer for stickers. The automated stationary spectrometry system is used to measure and calculate the radionuclide activities of the waste and materials packaged into the 200 litre drums. The system consists of a measurement chamber with three semiconductor high purity germanium detectors, three multi-channel analyzers, three mechanical cooling systems, a conveyor with scales and two trays, a control unit, a computer system which controls data collection and conveyor movement, a barcode reader connected to the control panel via a cable, a printer for stickers. A mobile spectrometry system is used to measure cobalt-60 and cesium-137 activity in large-sized items with different geometries. The system consists of a semiconductor high-purity germanium detector, multi-channel analyzer, dewar bottle with liquid nitrogen for detector cooling, a special trolley, and a computer system to control data collection.